Hey folks. A um, few people are asking how can I change the LEDs on my verbal throttle depending on the position of the, for example, the main throttle axis. Uh, okay, and I'll run through and show you how to do that. So first off, you need to be using the no mode modifier profile for this to work. Because what we're going to do is we're going to use the shift states that it would normally use. And we're going to use them for the LED control. So I'm using the 2020-0325 version of the firmware. So first off, we need to load the configuration that's on the current device into the software, make the changes, and then send it back. This is important. If I were to just click Save VPC Device right now, there's kind of a blank profile in here. It would send it down to the device and screw it up. So first, load. Profile comes from the device into the software. Then we fiddle around with it in the software and then we send it back to the device. So right now I'm already using the no mode modifier profile because it's my favorite one to use because it allows me to use joystick gremlin. So first off, let's go to axes. So I am gonna use the custom configuration axes way, which is down here. I've already used two of them up because I was using them for virtual detents for the F-18 and DCS. So, uh, when you're using buttons, creating these like um, virtual buttons, as it were, you know, that, that, that they're in the physical um, table, I always start from the highest number and work my way down. So I start at 128 and then start counting down. So first off, pick our axes. And a percentage range, I'm going to go, say, 85, and I'm going to go 100. So between these two values, it's when this will go active. And I'm going to put button 126 in there. Next, we go to our button tab. And I'm going to use shift state 1 and type in 126. And then I'm going to set the mode to on because we want it to trigger when it's on. And next, I'm going to configure the LEDs. Now, for my particular throttle, uh, it's the panel. I have a V1 throttle, so I'm going to select the panel because that's the ones that light up for me. And then I'm going to pick a color. So there we go. And then we now save that back to the device. Okay, we're good to go, we're communicating again. So what I'll do is I'll move the throttle forward. And there you can see button 126 has gone active and my throttle panel is now lit up. By default, I have the LEDs off. And if I bring it back, the light goes off as the button goes off, and forward and backward, off and on, off and on. So there you go, that's how basically to set it up so that um, LEDs light up at specific ranges. Now, like I say, this is this is the control for my throttle. Your throttle might be different. There's four versions of the throttle as I make this video. So uh, you may have to twiddle or change one of these different ones, but that one there is the one that works for me. So that's it. I mean, you've also got, remember that you've got these here as well. If you double click on an axis, you also have these predefined ranges, which if you take one of them, it will create a physical button binding for it. You can't control which one it's going to use. The former hopefully is smart enough to pick out the next available one. So you can use these these preset ones if you want as well to give you more uh, flexibility. So there you go. I hope this helps.